Hi everyone, Prep and Mama here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I pack my car for a road trip. Uh, so basically, by the time you see this, we'll be back home. But um, we're headed off to Idaho for a week, and um, I have some special needs to consider and different things when packing my vehicle. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you'll get some ideas or you might have some suggestions for me. You're, I'm probably going to catch flack for not carrying jumper cables. Sorry guys. My emergency car kit that I had in my old Ford van never made it into this van and I'm redoing it. And I don't even know where all the stuff went that goes to it. Uh, so I'm not going to try to do that this time. I do have some emergency supplies and I, we always have food and drink um, and blankets. But I'll go ahead and show you so you can see for yourself. In order to avoid taking a trailer or anything like that, we are using this this time. My husband picked this up recently and um, hopefully um, it'll do for us. We'll see what happens. Okay, so as some of you probably know, I drive a Nissan NV3500. It is a 12 passenger van. It has the same chassis as a Nissan Titan. So I feel like I'm driving a truck and I really, really, really like it a lot. It is probably the, my favorite vehicle I have ever had. Um, I, I prefer to drive trucks or Jeeps, and this guy makes me feel like I'm driving a truck. So let's have a look at what I've got in the, the driver's side. And I don't have everything yet, but I'll give you a, I'll give you a peek. Okay, I just recently had this detailed, but I mean, it's hard to tell. I have a bunch of kids at home still. I have five kids at home. Six are going on the trip with us. Um, my adult daughter's going. My adult son is house sitting for us. He does not like to travel very far. So he, and he doesn't have the time off from work anyway. So he's going to stay here and house sit for us, which basically entails garden, cat, and dog. Okay, so I actually just picked up some bungees because I wasn't sure how we were going to pack that trailer hitch thing and I wanted to make sure we had some and I like to have bungees around so I, I picked up a pack of bungees I put them here my husband's probably going to put his stuff here he usually drives on long distance vacations um, so he's going to probably put his really nice flashlight and whatever else in here okay in the Nissan NVs there's a little drawer on the driver's side and I have a menagerie of things in here. So we are gluten free or most of us are. And instead of, although I am going to go to the store when we get to our Airbnb we're staying at, I wanted to go ahead and carry some things that we already had um, because I didn't want to have to reinvent the whole wheel with the grocery shopping. Hi Samuel. So anyway, I stuck these in here because there was room, but this is basically my flare, emergency flares. And this is the tire, you know, it, it fixes everything tire related. Some carabiners or carabiners, however you say that, you guys can correct me. And disinfectant wipes and extra rags. So that's what's in here. And like I said, it's just easier for me to carry some of these grains than to reinvent the wheel at the grocery store. I already have them, right? All right. So let's hop up in here and I'll show you what I got. Oh, it's hot. All right, I've got my, my car charger for my phone. I've got, this is the, this is the hand sanitizer I, I use. It's Dr. Bronner's. And I keep one in here. This is my empty travel mug here. I have my, my daughter's disability permit is down there. And then I have a really super deep console. Now, if you're not familiar with these, this thing is huge and organizing it has been a challenge. So um, in here I keep rubber bands. I also have one on my wrist, yay. Um, rubber bands for me and my girls. These are moist towels and napkins that we get at restaurants that, you know, they give us these things and if we don't use them all, I'll just stick them in the car. I have some Lara bars here handy. Um, this is my little LED flashlight, but my husband always carries a much nicer flashlight um, when we're traveling. These are lens cleaning wipes for because I wear eyeglasses and one of my sons does. And whatever change I have, I put, I put it in there. And then that comes out. 
And then we live in the Pacific Northwest, so I always have N95 masks with me and at home and in storage because got to protect our lungs from those wildfires. And then this is the snack bag. So we have gluten-free pretzels and we have uh, uh, granola bars in here. Things that will not um, have trouble in the heat, right? So summer. And then, and by the way, these bags are made, these are Amazon basics. They're called packing cubes. They're made to pack your suitcases with. And I did use them for that when I went away to my conference a few weeks ago. These things are awesome. And they come in different colors and different sizes. Um, but they're very handy and they have a handle and they zip closed. So this um, has a, my daughter's sun hats. Any kind of sunscreen or insect repellent that we need to carry. And then my daughter has trouble regulating her body temp. So a uh, personal misting fan and some personal fans in there too. Sorry, I'm not actually showing it to you. Um, I'm not going to unzip this because I have a really hard time doing that when I'm holding the camera. And then here is diaper changing stuff. So butt cream, wipes, diapers, and a changing pad. The beauty of these things is you can actually grab these and stick them into your bag before you go somewhere. So um, if you're leaving the van, you can just stick these into the stroller or into the bag or whatever you're carrying. Okay, that's that. <clears throat> and then you could put a bunch of things in here. And then the other thing with the NV, actually I should have showed you before I took it out. There is a 110 charger here. And then other another cigarette lighter charger there and you can actually feed these through um, and they can you know your phone can be out here while it's charging in there and all I have to do is flip or I guess it's 120 whatever it is I just have to flip a switch and it will um, it will it will charge just with a regular outlet so you don't have to have a car charger for everything if you don't have a car charger for everything. All right, I'm gonna go around the other side. Okay, I don't carry much in here. I have my manual and extra hooks for behind the seats. And that's basically my insurance information and that kind of thing is in here. And yeah. All right, I was just looking for something, sorry. Okay, I've trained my kids to come to the passenger side for the first aid kit, which I showed you guys this before. This is a pretty comprehensive one. I get it on Amazon and I have it in, I try to keep these in every vehicle. And then I just stuck some extra paper plates and napkins here because um, I just didn't want to have to buy everything on the trip. <laughs> I didn't want it, I didn't want to have to spend a ton of money when I have those things already. And then this thing is, ooh, I just damaged, I just damaged my car with this puppy. Okay, maybe we should put a rag in there. <laughs> I just scratched the side of my, okay, don't tell my husband. Okay, all right, so I have this thing. It is meant to be a handle to help my daughter climb into the vehicle, but it also breaks your window and it has a seatbelt cutter. So it's worth it to have in here. So I just keep that down in here. All right. And then what I have stuck under my seat, because once again, I just don't want to buy everything when I get there, is I have a, a case of chicken from Costco. And then for, so we're staying overnight in a regular hotel on the way there. So we don't need this stuff there. But when we get to the Airbnb, I have our toiletries under here and it's all of our specific things that we use and extra wipes and I just put it under there and then when we get there we'll take that out and use it in the meantime we'll just use the stuff at the hotel I should survive it I have some sensitivities a couple of my kids do too so that's why I like to bring my own stuff so there's a lot of space under there for that okay and then 
This is not filled yet, but it will be probably before we leave. And this is one of those back behind the seat things for kids and or for whatever. Um, so right now I have Kleenex in here. I have my daughter's sunglasses and I have wet wipes. Um, the iPad will go in here and some books and probably some pens. Okay, and then this is her seat. And I have the seat liners behind that. And then every nook and cranny baby so you guys this is a 12 passenger van and and the seat configuration is sorry i'm rubbing up against the seats um is three three four but we've taken out one of the two seaters in the back so for here it's three three two so we're gonna have a two two and two since six kids are coming with us and I put my girls in the middle because of the latch system and everything that's available um, for the anchors and whatever they call it. So it's safer for them. So the older kids will probably sit on the outside seats here and here. So I'm probably going to lay the girls' bags, their duffels down here. And then what I have here is I have hooks on the back of the driver's side seat. And this is just some of our gluten-free stuff and sushi making stuff in this bag and then this bag is my daughter's noise canceling headphones so i'm gonna keep that right next to her in case we need those and then down there is my locking medical um box so that normally wouldn't have all of the things in it that it has for travel normally just prescription stuff would be in here but let me open it for you and I'll show you what I packed in here. That's a combo lock, so just a sec, sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. What do I have in here? A bunch of stuff that I don't want the kids to have access to, but that I might need on the trip. And like I said, I don't want to have to go out in a strange town in the middle of the night if somebody gets sick. So I have all my things in here. So I have a thermometer. I have children's ibuprofen. I have spray silver. I have an inhaler. I have a homeopathic, um, it's called Chestel. I use it for croup. Um, I have some homeopathics here. Lip balm. Zyrtec, um, some acid reducing stuff, Tums, athlete's foot cream, triple antibiotic ointment, hydrocortisone cream, arnica cream. That's more of that. Let's see, this is also I use for croup. I don't know if it's still available, but I still have it and I use it for croup in colds. So it works pretty well. Some KT tape. Some calendula spray that's good for sunburn and different things. Some adult ibuprofen. So that's what's in there. Um, oh, ear drying agent for swimmer's ear. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I have my child safe essential oils there. They have a kid's line. Plant Therapy has a kid's line. And that's the brand that I like to buy because I can get them on Amazon and I trust them. So that's what's in there. So only day work. I have access to that and that's just for just in case somebody gets sick. We hope nobody will get sick, but just in case. All right, so this is where my other daughter sits and this is basically a repeat of the same setup. And let's take you on the back. In the back. Okay, back here I have a trash can because we have the car, the van detailed recently and I don't want trash on my floor. I have a bunch of boys who don't seem to care about these things. I do my best to train them. My husband does not do things like that. But for some reason, I've got boys and they're a bit of a challenge. Okay, so the floor. My husband put 3 8 inch thick truck bed liner in here, wherever feet go. And that protects our carpet. So that's what that is. He cut it to fit. It works great. Okay. I always keep this in here, this Instacrate. You guys know that. Um, for this trip, it has some different things in it. It has a Mexican blanket. The reason I call it that is because I got it in Mexico 35 years ago and it's still growing strong. I have multiples of these uh, in my home 
and they're very warm. Okay, this kind of bag is for sitting on wet grass or wet whatevers. I'm sorry, bag. It looks like a bag, it's a blanket. So I learned when my son went into track that I need this. So I keep it in my car and it's it's come out handy. It's come in handy for many things. A roll of paper towel, and this is all rehydration fluid that I like this brand, it's called Recharge. It comes in several different flavors, but this is juice. Um, it's made with juice. The ingredients are filtered water, white grape and apple juice concentrates, herbal tea, okay, this one has tea in it, orange extract and sea salt, but not all of them have that. That's the tropical. The grape one has filtered water, Concord grape, white grape, apple juice, natural flavor, and sea salt. That's my favorite one. Um, my adult daughter sometimes needs um, rehydration fluid and Gatorade is just probably not the healthiest choice for her. Um, she has autoimmune stuff going on. She, she actually, she has SLE. So if you're familiar with that, otherwise known as a form of lupus. So we just have to be careful. I'm sorry, my camera work is not good, guys. <laughs> All right, and again, on the same note, I just of not wanting to reinvent the wheel, we go through a lot of paper plates, and so I'm bringing them with me. And this is, and it, it, it's a survival bag that I don't even remember when I bought it, but it's pretty comprehensive. It's got a lot of stuff in it. So I just stuck that under there, just in case. And under here is a bin full of extra waters. We will have a cold pack with waters and everyone will have their stainless steel water bottle with them. So, so that's that. Okay, so we're trying to get the luggage for eight people into this van with the eight people and a large, uh, a special uh, adaptive stroller for my daughter in here as well because we realized that um, the last time we went someplace uh, that had a lot of walking she was in a stroller <laughs> well she's eight now and it's just not gonna happen um, and she but she can't walk long distances and she has issues with the heat so we got her an adaptive stroller which was pretty pricey but um, it makes it so the family can do things and that she can do things with us and um, and just sometimes you have to do things like that so that's what we did um, that thing is about five feet folded on how to take the wheels off so we need to get the luggage in here the stroller in here and and onto that thing there so uh, wish us luck I'll probably come back and film it when it's all packed up so you can see how we did it um, but anyway that is me packed up and earlier I filmed a pan of some of our luggage not all of it um, that has to go in here so I told everyone to pack enough for three days and we're staying at a home, an Airbnb, and it has laundry facilities. So we do not have to pack enough for 10 days. We can just pack three days and just keep washing. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, this is how I've outfitted my van for a trip with my people. And when it's all packed up, I'll come back and show you. Thanks for joining me, guys. Hi everyone, Beth and Mom here. Um, we're back from our vacation. I did not get good footage of the van packed up. I got some and I ended up realizing I had my phone in the wrong direction, which I do a lot. <laughs> um, and it just wasn't worth showing. So basically we got everything into the van, um, but my 15 year old son who was sitting in the very back seat did have to climb over that stroller to get in there. So it was tight obviously, but we did, we did make it and we did get it and it worked out. Of course, things were less neat on the way home. I don't know if that happens with everyone else, but it, it definitely happens with us. So something that happened on the first day that we arrived in Idaho that I wanted to tell you about is, well, my 13 year old's having one of those summers. I think his, his body's, he's in a growth spurt. So basically his body's growing and his brain has not caught up to it yet. Um, I find this happens a lot um, between like 11 and 13 years old. And so he keeps having these things happen to him but um, anyway he hurt his toe the first day and of course it was his 13th birthday and um, we're not sure if he broke it or if he sprained it really badly he basically
brought his foot up to go up a step, but caught his alert, his big toe on the step, you know, on the underside of it, really hard. And um, it was immediately swollen. And um, what's really, um, the reason I'm telling you this is because I had everything we needed to treat the injury with me and I did not have to rush out and go anywhere to get anything. Um, so the preparedness almost always pays off, you know. Um, he had a couple of days where he was limping and then all of a sudden the pain went away. And uh, it's now just, um, we've been back a week and it's pretty bruised, um, but other than that it looks pretty good. So I just wanted to share with you um, what happened there and, um, and just wrap this video up. Um, so this week I've been making pickles and zucchini bread because you can imagine when I came home to um, my garden had exploded and there was a lot to do so I'll be filming some videos this week about that kind of thing and showing you what I'm doing and I'll be doing some dehydrating too so look forward to that um, this is Prep and Mama thanks for joining me today uh, thanks for visiting my channel if you're new I'm here I am a mama seven to have full in the coop I um, I'm into preparedness. I have been for a long time, and I just talk about all things preparedness and um, in the, the way it relates to my family of nine um, when we have special needs and autoimmune and just different things going on. So thanks for stopping by my channel. Please hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.